thought I'd bring you another one. This is not a very good bag. So I will do you a better deal and I'll let you have them both for $19.99. And then, I, and then in addition to that, I also got a 30% discount. But I have to be really careful. An interesting chain right there. You see that? Last time I thought I saw something interesting, it was plastic. Okay, we're just going to break it. I can see right there. I'm, again, still amazed at how much stuff pops out of here. You don't even realize. Well, that's a pretty earring. How much is in here until you dig into it? Uh, an earring. Okay. Look at they be really noisy. All right, here's one of these statement pieces. Ooh, this is actually really nice. Not that I would wear it, but what I mean by really nice is that it looks like a good quality. It's got a nice little tag there. I don't really see a maker's mark on it. Let me see if we see anything. I don't know if that's a scratch or a maker's mark. Can you tell? I don't think so. First, I thought it was like a little locket. Anyway, this is a very nice statement piece. It doesn't feel cheap like some that I, some that I have seen it at the Goodwill and at Charming, Charming Charlie's or other accessory places that they're not, you know, you can just tell they're very lightweight, pretty, and in pink. How marvelous is that? Sort of a mauve in pink. I didn't have any trouble selling that. That's, that's kind of pretty. Very lightweight, too. Kind of iridescent. Pearl strand. Oh, you could fix that. It's like it's almost cut. Toy ring. I'm going to put that into the children's jar that I'm making for my grandchild. Pretty bracelet. Nice glass beads. Kind of iridescent color. Earring. It's actually plastic. That's funny. Here is a copper brooch with a star. That's kind of interesting. Here's the other earring. Should dig from the top, right? Because then I think it's tangled. Oh, okay. Here is that necklace. Wow, that's exotic. That really has sort of a 3D effect because of the way they're placed. That's very, very interesting. Just some silver embellishment there. And then it's got that very interesting chain. It is broken right there. I'd have to fix that. Push that down. There you go. Fixed. Okay. Sure. I just sold a really nice gold one that was very exotic. And I think I got about $50 for it on eBay. Here's a nice one. Look, it's got sort of that Peruvian... Um, text a textile in there. That's very, very different. All right, plastic beads. All right, another children's princess. Definitely putting that one away. And it appears to be broken as well. So there's some earrings, wire with a little glass bead in between there. These are pretty. There's some feather earrings. I sold. I sold some feather earrings. Oh, I sold them in my auction. That's right. Okay, here is a long strand. That can, and these are glass beads. Very nice glass beads. These are metal. They're a gunmetal color, actually. So that's like a triple, double strand necklace wrap around. Oh, this is kind of pretty. It's gold enamel. No maker's mark on there either, but at least it's not broken. That's pretty. This little chevron accent, that's kind of pretty so as well. Here are some little silver earrings. I put these aside, Let's see if we find anything. Here's a nice cross. It's a very pretty, very, very nice. I don't know if it's silver. Or silver tone. It's on a cheap little nylon cord, but it's very nice. And it's very interesting. Let's see if I see any kind of mark on it. Yes, it's 925. There it is down. That's a very nice cross. It really is. Can you see it in there? Right in here on this side. Alright, so that's nice. A nice sterling cross. That'll give me my $7 back <laughs> with a little interest. 
so that's always good. And this is a nice piece too. Oh, that's very pretty. Look at that. Anything with this kind of movement is just so pretty because it really does shine and um, should sell quickly. I don't believe it's sterling or anything when I did my magnet. But uh, I want to show you the cross so you can see that it is indeed sterling silver. I'm super excited. I kind of knew when I saw it, but because of the design more than anything, because I was like, that's an intricate design. Yeah. For, you know, just, just gold uh, silver tone. That is very, very nice. That would have been nice for my daughter's Renaissance costume. It's pretty. It's got sort of bugle beads on here. Fluted bugle beads. Necklaces that are Native American. That no, I had quite a collection and actually lost the rodeo that I that I took uh, my special needs students to. Pushing a wheelchair. And I think that's how I lost it because I just lost track of it. I was too busy. I was too busy taking care of my babies in those wheelchairs, and I think it just slipped right off of my neck and had all the little fetish birds and stuff. It was so beautiful. But this is very pretty. I do like that color. There's a matching earring. I mean, these little black ones, so yeah, match there. Pretty necklace. There's a big tangle mess again. So we're going to put that in the jewelry lot. Easter necklace, actually. Hippie bracelet. That's kind of cute, though. My other daughter might like those shots to wear those kinds of, that kind of jewelry. I have three daughters in case I didn't mention it to you guys. And they all like different kinds of jewelry, really. Oh my gosh, it's so tangled in here because of this wire. This is definitely a nice one right here. This one does not appear to be broken. Let's see? And it's long pink and blue. Light pink and darker, a darker pink and then some blue beading on it. And that looks long. But it's mixed up with this other wire, and then there's just this other little flip-flop. I think it's got Notre Dame on there. Yeah, ND. And here is a stretch bracelet. This matches that necklace that I had in the other jar. Here it is. Yeah. There it is. So I've got a matching set. Cool. And is that it? That can't be it. That was quick. I think that's it. Here's an earring here with some missing stones. Here is a silver pearl earring that oh yeah here, I moved it over here all right so it looks like we do have some matching earrings here these are nice we've got the silver and the white pearl let's move this out of the way here's a pretty one this looks similar to a white one that I sent to one of my subscribers these little um, accents and these are glass green and gold that's pretty. I like that. Look at how the price on it. Two ninety nine. I like this a lot. That's very nice. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the colors, especially for right now for fall. I like that jade color. That's pretty. Yeah. Bold. You gotta you guys have to excuse my hands. I was drawing something today and I've got black ink all over them. Thought I had washed them well, but they still got some stains on them. All right, so there we go. That's really pretty. Ball earrings. There's some that match. Here's some that's by its. Here's one that's by itself. There's some silver necklaces. We'll see if any of them don't stick to the magnet. Oops, it looks like they all stick to the magnet, right? So, but they're they're interesting. Let's see what they are. Oh, they have tassels. I love anything with tassels. A total nut for tassels. I once, found, I once found some really pretty tassel earrings from James Avery, and I hope you guys are familiar with James Avery. They were vintage. They were so nice. I loved them, but I could not wear them. They were way too heavy for me. So I sold them. Okay, here's a CC. Someone said that might be Charming Charlie's. I think someone mentioned that in one of the jewelry groups on Facebook. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a double strand. And then this one just has a bunch of little... These look so pretty layered. These little layered necklaces. It's like some little geometric designs here. That hangs. And this is a one-piece necklace. And then the bottom has a tassel with a triangle. 
Isn't that cute? I wore that too before I sell it. Oh, here's a nice earring, but I think it's by itself. And here's some pretty earrings. Oh, I like these. They don't they don't seem very heavy either. Oh, I love I love copper color. And I love blue. Those are super pretty. I love these. These are very nice. I want to keep these. Okay, here's another stretchy bracelet. Pretty colors though, and they are glass. I think it's a puppy. What do you think? Or a rabbit. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That is a cute brooch. The little articulated ears. It's a hound dog. That is so cute. That would look really cute, like with a little Christmas theme, you know, like an Elvis blue Christmas hound dog. I don't know. <laughs> I used to have a sweatshirt that had a blue Christmas theme on it. Kind of an Elvis theme. I used to have that. I remember when everybody was wearing the Christmas sweaters before they turned into a national joke? Oh, these are pretty too. I think someone made these. They have little lavender colored glass beads and some faux pearls there. These are nice. Big hoops. All right. And another American flag pin. This is made in China. Last time I found one, it was made in the USA. Stud. Pearl stud, but we had found these a minute ago, so we have four, two sets all together. That's nice. Pearl stud, so we got two pearl studs, some interesting earrings, and here is the match. Yay! All right, so we did get a lot of matching earrings. Look, these are like little, I don't know, like little mesh baskets or something. Those are interesting. So we do have some earrings, guys. I'm super happy about that. We do have some matching earrings. These also found their mate. These big things found their mate. And I wish there were... Oh, yes, yes. We have the rhinestones as well. And they're not missing any. They don't look like vintage. But they're very nice. Probably... Oh, here's some matching earrings, too. These might be sterling. They look interesting. Let's look and see what the... Magnet, first of all. Oh, that's a good sign. They don't stick to the magnet. Maybe it's surgical steel or something, but let's look and see because these do look like sterling. Maybe not. I don't see any marking at all. But they're pretty. I used to have some gold ones like this, but they were bigger. Real gold. Lost one. Actually, I think I lent those to my daughter and she lost them. So, all right. And I already showed you that key ring in the last one. I think that's it. We did, we did get a lot of matching earrings, so that's always good. We got those, we got those, we got those. And I think I showed you this with some glass beads. Is this marked? No, it's just a spacer. Yeah, this is just a little black and lavender. Oh, this is nice though. Look, it's got that drop. That's always pretty. That's always different. So that's really nice. Really lots of matching earrings on this one. I'm glad. Here's some more earrings. But I like some of these for myself, actually. I really do. And, of course, the feather earrings. And then these also. Yeah, tons of matching earrings, guys. So that's good. That's really good. And I think the best thing in here was this really interesting sterling cross. I really like that a lot. That's very, very nice. Very nice. I think I'll put that up on eBay on a nice sterling chain and probably ask $40 to $50 on it. Yeah, I think that'll be really good. I really like the fashion pieces we picked out here. They're very nice. So I think that was a really good bet, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please join me live on Saturdays between 12 and 1 if you have any questions. It's a, usually a Q&A at the very end of the video. And I'm also going to bring you a regular jewelry haul because I picked up some fabulous pieces just directly from the counter. But yeah, lots of interesting pieces. Here was another one that I really liked. I thought that was really pretty too. Very, very different. So, yeah. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Please be sure and subscribe. Be sure and hit the bell so that you can be notified when I put up a new video, okay? And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.